With it. With it. I wonder if you'd make it into the Guinness Book of World Records for having the longest fingernails. Uh, I don't think so. Does that, does that not count? If they're magic fingernails, does it not count? I don't think so, because they go away when you sleep, probably. Oh. You don't get the honor unless you have to deal with that shit all the time? Yeah. That, that make, that's fair. Honestly, yeah. Yeah. Honestly, you earned it. Yeah. Slay queen. Oh, oh, oh shit. Fucking what's Ice Clan? Your, what's your favorite part about Diablo? My favorite part about Diablo? Um. Woo! I don't know. Part of me wants to say, like, the progression. Uh huh. Or like, on soup. It's got the whole with the loot. It's got the whole thing where like even once you hit the level cap, it doesn't really matter. You're still gonna keep getting more and incrementally more baller. better. Yeah. Which I, I I've always liked that. Um, yeah, I don't know. I I think honestly that's probably what I would have said years ago. Uh huh. But now it's kind of the point where it's just like I don't have to think about it. Yeah. I can just I, like like lay back and just press some buttons and make things make things explode. I've recently seen Diablo described as the mac and cheese of video games. Yeah? Yeah? And like that is a very specific mental image for me. Yeah. No, that that's you're not wrong. That's that's definitely Oh, hey. Hi, friend. <laughs> what a bud. Hi, tacos. Whatever your name is, Talos. Doesn't matter anymore, you're dead. Tell so. us the wind of the dead. <laughs> Maudal, hunter of the north. <laughs> yeah, get absolutely fucked up. Got him. But yeah, probably the. Well, that makes it sound. I mean, I guess that could be that could be seen as a negative too. But uh -huh. I don't Listen, know. I, I love mac and cheese. I, yeah, I was gonna say I, I like having like it's kind of the same reason I love I love Dynasty Warriors so much. Yeah, it's, it's it like, honestly is just top down Dynasty Warriors. Yeah, like it's it's like. Wow, I can just, who is all this man? I can just put on music and not really pay attention and just sort of have a good time. Uh-huh. You know? It's a good a good, a good way to unwind. Whom's is all this singular man? He is... Oh, he's summoning all of his, all of his dead friends, I think. Oh, that's neat. Oh, they're all, they're all dead again, so... <laughs> Joke's on them. Ha! <laughs> Got him. Do better next time. Yeah, idiots. That'll teach you to fuck. Man, we are pro uh, <laughs> abstinence. <laughs> abstinence only. <laughs> that's our that's our shtick this time. That's our shtick this time. Yeah. We were two cool girls, then we were uh, two priests, and now we're two, two priests, priests again. And now we're two priests again. <laughs> two very different priests. Yeah. <laughs> Gizzard ties. That sounds gross. I'll wear it. Oh no, I don't want to wear that actually. That sounds good. The only fucking you should be doing <laughs> is fucking praying to the Lord. <laughs> yeah. Praying to fucking Jesus praying fucking to Christ. Praying to fucking Jesus. <laughs> only coming you should be doing is coming to fucking Jesus. <laughs> coming to church. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. I want to see what I got, but this guy keeps spitting maggots at me. Okay. There we go. Um, I can relate. <laughs> All sounds those are like, way better pants. Sounds like Twitter. <laughs> I wouldn't know. I'm not on Twitter. Twitter's fine. Twitter's inoffensive. I use it to get news, and I hardly ever tweet that much. Yeah. Which I probably should for the, for the brand, for yeah. the culture. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Can you can you promise me not to kill things for two seconds? Yeah. I have to go talk to. I have to go talk to Blacksmith Dad. Yeah, sure. I'll totally not kill things. No, they came. As oh, soon as they left. came. Oh, I got no choice. Oh God. Oh, I don't. I don't like doing this. Yes, I don't do. want to do this. Uh, I don't want to do this. Oh, wait, you could, you I'm can back. leave. Oh, I, well, I, I'm in it now, so you should probably leave and just, like, you'll get the levels when when, I, when you come back. That's not how that works. That's, that's not how that works, Eric. No, you'll pick up my table scraps when you come back. Yeah, but the, I don't pick up the speed. What? I don't pick up the, where are you going? Whatever's left. Oh, no! There's a man here you need to kill. 
Garen. Oh. He's Garen. a purple man. He killed me. Garen, wait. My friend's coming back. He's gonna he's gonna beat you up. <laughs> my, my brother goes to um, goes to the high school. <laughs> as soon as he gets off school, he's gonna beat you up so bad. Yeah. Okay. I took his shady bludgeon away. Nice. Okay, now we can do whatever we're gonna. Uh, do. Where, where's the cube? Is the cube in the Elder Sanctum? Yes. Okay. It's like way in the back of the Elder Sanctum too. It's a okay. pain in the ass. I'm gonna spend some Paragon points. You gotta go back to town. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. I'm gonna dump all these points into intelligence. Nice. And I'm gonna dump all these points into cooldown reduction. I'm gonna dump all these points. Do I want to do all these points into life for hit? I want. Resource cost reduction or life per hit? Um, is resource is resource cost? Has it been fucking you at all? Moderately. Okay. Well, yeah, that's it's pretty good. I mean, because life per hit is very easy to just put onto things. And I love to resist all. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Resisting all is my favorite form of protest resistance. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, oh, hey, I'm 50. Nice. Nifty, nifty, is, look who's 50. All we gotta do is do a rift after this, and I'm done with the first part already. Wait, what did I just give up? I don't know. 30% additional damage. Okay, that's fine. Because I stand still a lot. That's fine, yeah. If I, if I stand still for a second, I get... Cool shit. Oh, nice. Yeah, I usually take that for demon hunters, too. It's called, like, brooding for them. Uh. And it's just... I fucking stand still when I'm doing fucking... The thing. That I... I, I stand still when I'm doing fucking as well. Yeah. Yeah, I don't do any of the work. Nope. Um, stiff as a board. Because this Light is America. Light as a stiff as a board. <laughs> this is goddamn America. Of course I'm not going to do any of the work. Uh-huh. I'm the man! Man, I wonder if anyone has done. Though. I wonder if anyone's done a, uh, a Marxist reading on uh, lazy men in bed, <laughs> exploiting the labor. <laughs> I don't know. That that would be good. That that sounds like. That I sounds really like, should go back to school and do my masters on that. I was gonna say, yeah, that sounds like an excellent fucking master's paper. Uh huh. <laughs> oh. <man. laughs> A Marxist reading on not wanting to go down on your girl. <laughs> that, is, that is truly the work of scumbags. Wow. Wow, look, absolute, at, look at the... Absolute scumbaggery. <laughs> oh, I found a bowl of delicious soup. Oh, mm. fuck yeah, they're just giving us soup. I love all this soup. Soup de whoop. Did you call it soup before I before I started calling it soup? I who who coined that? I don't know. Cause I know I've always called it soup. I just don't know if I got it from you, or if I just like in my garbage brain saw it and look, went like, oh, soup. You know, look like soup. Yeah. I don't know. This is the thing. We have so many things that we say, and that I don't remember say. where most of them came from. Yeah. I guess we'll never know. Yeah. <sighs> anyway. If only we just recorded our whole lives. Yeah, if only if only a lot of our friendship was documented in like some easily accessible online form. <laughs> Go to downbag.club, smash that bell icon. Smash, <laughs> smash that, that like button. Bell icon. Uh, caress the caress the subscribe button. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh Um uh, What else can you do? Um Unsubscribe from PewDiePie and subscribe to us. Yes. Because PewDiePie he, don't need it. No. Have you been following that at all? Like the... The movement, and I use that in the loosest possible terms. The movement? The last time the last time I heard PewDiePie's name involved with anything was... Um, there was like a, a weird channel that was like... I don't even know what it was, but it was like about it, to dethrone him. Yeah, no, that's still fucking going on. Oh, Jesus. I have no idea how they're like there. There are live streams of just the subscriber counts. 
Oh, like, I don't know what fucking PewDiePie inspires in in people. Yeah, he's kind of just like a person who does pretty mediocre content. Like, listen, I can appreciate I can appreciate gaming content. I have laughed at a PewDiePie video before. Yeah, no. Like, it, when he was like doing like his early amnesia stuff, I thought that that was like pretty funny before it was like played out. Yeah. But like, if I had infinite money. <laughs> right. If if he. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I I appreciate him from afar. I can appreciate what he's accomplished. Yeah. By. Yeah, homie, homie got hustle. Homie, homie had the homie did the hustle homie and did he, the hustle, he, yeah. he yeah he he hustled hard. He hustled in a way that was better than other people who were hustling. And yeah. now he's now he don't got to hustle no more. And I yeah. And now now he just has to apologize every time he says the n word. Which is more than I would. More than yeah that. <laughs> Yeah, he's got the Kanye thing going on, where it, it's like, he doesn't got to struggle no more. He's, he hasn't had to chase the bus in a minute. Yeah. It's a concerning number of times he's had to apologize for it, but, you know, whatever. He did the hustle. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I, the, the, the thing, too, is that he has, a, like, I don't know if I appreciate it or if it's just another thing where I'm like, I don't get it, uh -huh. but he's survived a lot of those controversies, like, basically unscathed. Like, like he did a really like good apology early on, like yeah, af but, after yeah, but like after he got like early famous, he fucked up a little. He fucked up in what was in hindsight indicative of more behavior, but yeah. in the moment looked like he fucked up a little bit. Yeah, and he did a really good apology on that one, and he's just gotten we as as things have been proven like oh no no that's just how he be sometimes. Yeah, like. I'm like, yes, I, I understand. I understand that that doesn't make him racist or whatever. But yeah, uh, oh, we got to figure out some better words. Yeah, no, <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of shit that, like, people get so mad when you call him racist. But the things that he has said are often racist. Yeah, he says a, racist things. That doesn't mean he's necessarily a racist. No, like, and it might mean that he's a racist. It might mean, yeah, I don't know the, the guy. At the bare minimum, he's got to interrogate some of the racist shit that he has said. Yeah. He has said racist shit. He has said Come at me, PewDiePie shit. subscribers. All fucking a million billion of you. Yeah. All press is good press for me. I do not give a single fuck. Yeah. I fuck. counted the number of fucks that I don't give. And it's this many. It's this many. <laughs> All five of these fucks, I give none. <laughs> I have these fucks to give, and I shall give none. I have none. these five fucks, and I will not distribute a single one to what PewDiePie's fans think of me. Yep. Downbag.club slash store. <laughs> Buy our merch. <laughs> I should make that a shirt. I don't care what PewDiePie thinks of me. I don't care what PewDiePie thinks of me. <laughs> Oh man, I'm sure. There's a lot of people who would. Who would uh, oh, they care immensely. It. Oh, there's a lot. Oh, God, there's a lot of people that care about. It, yeah. Oh, but you were saying there are a lot of people who also do not care what PewDiePie thinks of them. Hey, yeah. I found a box. Hey. Just I a need box. That. I need that. I Just need a that. box. Give me that. Give me that. Just a box. Give me that. How come I can't get it? I don't know. How come you can't? Uh. Do I need to leave? I've no, left. Oh, you shouldn't have to. Oh, here we go. Okay. Yeah, you did have to leave. What? That was weird. Okay. Huh. Thanks. Wild. Bye, Zoltan. Okay. Back to the ruins of Sheshwan. Yeah. I love their beef. I love that hilarious Rick and Morty joke. Oh, yeah. Forgot about that. I think that, like, almost... How could you forget? It's such a seminal part of my life as a person. I, I just love to reference the Sheshwan sauce. <laughs> <laughs> D don't I know it? I love to say the words Pickle Rick. It brings me joy. <laughs> <laughs> can, we can we talk about... Can we anger another fan base, please? Yeah, please. Okay. Um, I'm here for it. I don't get... Okay. I don't get Rick and Morty. Not in the sense that people are, I would probably say, like, oh, you just don't fucking get it. Uh -huh. But I, I can see Rick and Morty being really funny on paper. Yeah. If they made a comic, sign me up. If I if they made a, a version of Rick and Morty where I didn't have to listen to a fucking annoying ass belch every five seconds. Yeah, a lot of people don't like the mouth sounds. Yeah, 
it's it's unpleasant and it's like Ew. Yeah. Why, that's such a weird... Like, if if he was a character who's on every once in a while, he's just constantly no. drunk and belching... No, he's one of the two. He's one of the two! <laughs> he's one of the two that are on the box. And then the other guy sounds like, Oh, no, no, jeez. Oh, God. Yeah, it's... Oh, we're the two most annoying-sounding characters in existence. Yeah. I understand it's cool that it's one guy doing it, but do it better. Dude, find less annoying sounds. Yeah, because, that's entirely fair. Yeah, like, on paper, like, a anything people tell me about the show, oh, except for, like, the Pick of Rick stuff, I, that stuff can fucking suck it down. Yeah, but the, the thing is, like, the thing about the Pickle Rick stuff is that that's actually a very good episode, but not for any of the I'm Pickle Rick reasons. Right. Well, and the yet, thing like, it has become... I'm not sure where it started because, like, it's actually about fucking Rick being a, the joke is that Rick's a fucking enormous asshole who doesn't even want to go to family counseling because he broke up his daughter's marriage, and he turns himself into a pickle as a sole reason to avoid having that conflict. Oh Jesus! See, I didn't know the co I didn't know the context behind. No, that. yeah, like, and the thing is, I I think the context has been lost in the meme. Like, I feel like Rick and Morty fans are getting way too lost in the sauce. Right. And I mean that in all of its clever implications. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, it, they enjoy saying the words at each other, but I, like, the thing that makes it good is what those mean in context, and they're divorcing it from context. Yeah. I really hate the Rick and Morty fandom. I enjoy, I have, I enjoy watching the show Rick and Morty. I think, yeah, I can enjoy the show in, like, one or two episodes at a time. But yeah, I, the mouth sounds is, like, an actual real barrier, and I have a much higher tolerance having, like, worked in radio and stuff. Oh, yeah, I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. It's, yeah, I've got an intensely high tolerance for, like, hearing smacks and bells. I have that actual it's misophonia, misophonia yeah, yeah, and it, it actually makes me, makes me kind of nauseous. No, yeah, you're 100% valid. <laughs> I want so you like, to know you're 100 percent valid. G give me, give me a web comic. I'll, I'll be a Rick and Morty fan. How about that? Yeah, but, Patrick Rothfuss uh, is actually doing like it's a Rick and Morty Dungeons and Dragons collab comic series. Interesting. Okay. Like, they're in the Dungeons and Dragons world. Okay. And like they're playing, or I think maybe the I, I have no fucking clue. I think the conceit is like they were playing, and Morty was like, "Hey, you want to go play?" Right. And Rick was like, "No, I want to go into the fucking thing." I think I think that's the I think that's, that's the, the thing the that, that follows that follows. But it's on the, paper is the thing. Yeah, it follows the plot. It follow, probably follows the plot arc of other Rick and Morty merchandise. Right. Rick and Morty merchandise. <laughs> yeah, he's doing uh, what's this? Kevin Royland or something? Ju Royland? Uh, Justin Royland. Justin Royland. A Adam Royland. Uh, Amy Royland. Whatever his name is. Um, he's doing a, a VR game uh -huh. that looks very much in the same um, yeah no it's in the same vein as Rick and Morty but it looks like the character isn't as annoying yeah isn't Rick and I'm kind of I'm kind of into that yeah I, I've seen it branded as the most profane VR game in existence and that doesn't really tickle my nuts like from an advertising perspective the I'm just like profane? oh good really oh good yeah like they there were several news stories that were run as like, hey, this is the most profane VR game ever, ever to fucking happen. I'm just like, cool, are they going to take the name of God or something? Like, oh, that sounds annoying. Like, are they just doing fucking Postal 2 colon Hatred? Like, I, yeah. I, I don't necessarily need more of that in the gaming space. That sounds annoying, yeah. yeah. I didn't know about that. I'm, wa I'm, waiting for, I'm waiting for Caleb, because Caleb will definitely buy it. Yeah. And Caleb will definitely report back to us on it. And if Caleb says that it's good, I trust his, I trust his judgment. Yeah. Because Caleb is like, he's a Rick and Morty fan who I, I don't hate. Yeah, he is tolerable because he, I believe, enjoys the material. He's not walking around wearing a goddamn Pickle Rick shirt. Yeah. So, that's good. Yeah, that's uh, one thing that we can say about our good friend Caleb. I, I, can, I can trust him if he says it's good, yeah. But, <clears throat> oh, I just had to get that off my chest. I can't. No, yeah, it's... I can't. St I mean, obviously, I can't stand the fandom, but like, I, I it's all. It's just. I feel like I needed a, a space where I wouldn't be immediately talked back to because oh, no. I said I didn't like it. Yeah, there are myriad reasons why the fandom of Rick and Morty is a abysmal fucking cesspool. Yeah, 
Because it's like, yeah, I'm not a fan of Rick and Morty. Not because it's a bad show, but because I can't. You do not want to be a fan of Rick and Morty. Yeah. Yeah. I'm in this dismal abode. I want to go to yeah, it's it's the fucking gamer divide. Like I play video games. I'm not. I'm never gonna be a fucking gamer. Yeah. No. Exactly. I. Yeah. I. I drink my Mountain Dew and I eat my Doritos like any God-fearing American. But <laughs> I will not brand myself a gamer. Yeah. That's that's the thing. Yeah. It's like I play video games. I am not a gamer. Yeah. A, a culture co-opting. Yeah. It's all fucking semi or semiotics. Well, it's it's the thing that i hate about fandoms in general is the fucking gatekeeping yeah it's like I, I don't understand why you gotta fucking yuck each other's yums like if a motherfucker just plays sports games or just plays call of duty yeah people are like oh you're not a fucking real gamer then like the motherfucker he just, he plays video games fuck it's you like, bitch the mobile market is literally over half of our shit. Right, yeah. Of the game playing market. Yeah, it's it's like it's at the point where you can't My mom is the real gamer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> rise up, gamers. Oh, fucking gamers rise up. We live in a society. We do live in a society. But uh And yet we participate in that society. Curious. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Huh. Yeah, have you seen uh, the the new hot take that is all over the internet is that people are arguing whether uh, FromSoft games should have accessibility options. Like, what? should have, like, you know like, how Celeste did the assist mode? Yeah, like, like a, yeah. Like, people are arguing with the difficulty in Sekiro. They're arguing, like, man, like, people on Twitter would be like, man, wouldn't it be nice if, like, there was a thing where, like, I, I suck at this fucking combat. I wish I, I could turn combat speed down to, like, 50% so I could see more of this game. Yeah. And, like, people were, like, the, the get-gooders... The get gooders, yeah. Yeah, the the get goody two shoes, <laughs> uh, came out in full force. Like think pieces are flying back and forth on both sides of the aisle. That's so weird. I'm See, not I'm not gonna be a fucking centrist. Think pieces are flying back and forth between shitty people who want FromSoft games to be an achievement that they can put on the mantelpiece, right? And people who like are curious about them but have only ever interacted with FromSoft games through like YouTube videos. Yeah, I I would like to see the in some weird way, I'd like to see the percentage of get-gooders who actually get, have gotten good. Yeah. Like, because in this day and age, you don't have to be good at the game to know what's in it. It's like, you can't be like, oh, prove it. Tell me something that happens at the end of the game. Because you can just look it up. Yeah. Like. So, like, these people who are like, oh, fucking get good, scrub. Like, I, w I wonder how many of them are actually have actually gotten good themselves. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like, such a... It's like because the dominant part of like because of the nature of Dark Souls and like it started out as a really cool thing. Like I remember hearing podcasts when Demon Souls was coming out and just like man, this is such a fucking weird like wide open thing. And it's so interesting to see the community coming together and like solving these weird problems. Yeah. But like the the most visible aspect of Dark Souls like fan culture right now is the any is the fucking hundred percent all bosses deathless run. Like, yeah, like fucking, fucking beating Dark Souls three with a DDR pad. Yeah, <laughs> like that. That's neat. I will never yeah. stop that guy from. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah, I will never. I if there's anyone's person who yums who I will never yuck, it's that guy. It's that guy. Yeah. Yeah. Follow your entire bliss, homie. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's such a pervasive part of things. It's like from the outside looking in, it would seem as though like just playing it in a way that isn't fucking masochistic and bad is not the correct... Uh, I don't want to travel to the entrance of the current dungeon. Is not an invalid way to do this. Right. Yeah, the... <sighs> the get-gooders are... are bad. Ugh, they're bad. They're, they're bad people. <laughs> Ironically, they are bad. They are bad. Like... I... I don't understand who it hurts if a developer wants to make a game accessible for people. Yeah, and the the argument that is being trotted out is like, oh, well, if FromSoft wanted them to be easy, they would have designed them easy. And it's like... No. Yeah, homies don't start on, like, all skulls hard mode when they're designing Halo. Right. 
Like, the designer designs because there's a market for it, and, like, being able to expand that market just means they'll be able to sell more copies of the game and be able to do more inventive shit. Right. And, like, I would trust FromSoft to, like, develop a really interesting, like, difficulty mechanic. Oh, yeah, for sure. Well, I mean, it's, it's the thing, too. It, it's, it's like people think that From Software goes out to make a game really fucking hard. Nah, I remember Cookie and Cream. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, did you ever play Otogi? Yeah. Otogi was the opposite of hard. Yeah. Otogi, Otogi was, was just, just you were like a, time. you're a super powerful motherfucker who like cuts buildings down with his cool sword. Yeah, it's the Osiris Wrath of video games. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, there's a difference between from wanting to make their games challenging and rewarding to what the get gooders think it is, or it's like, oh, it's just, it's like a, it's no, a. I want only one percent of people to ever be able to. Do yeah, this. it's like a test. It's a test to see if you're a true gamer. I saw a really good, uh, like, disciplinarian read of this, and it's that from software games aren't about uh, expressing skill; they are about learning to adapt to the rules of a system. Yeah. Uh, so you can be rewarded and not punished by the prison state that from software has built around you. <laughs> <laughs> right. Like, uh, FromSoft games are the panopticon, and you need to you need to behave in the ways that are expected of you, and then you are rewarded. And then you're rewarded, right? Yeah, it's n it's not a it's not an indication of skill. It's an indication of following the rules, right? And yes, yeah, sometimes those rules are hard to follow. Especially, you know, it it has the idea of like mm -hmm. the, what they do really well, especially with Sekiro, is they Ooh. they introduce things kind of kind of slowly drip feeding you to them and then they will hit you with a challenge where it's like okay you better have been fucking paying attention yeah i know there are tests in yeah. FromSoft games but like not douchey tests like get gooders yeah <laughs> like it's stuff where it's like they'll they'll put an enemy there to make sure like like for example i i've been playing it a lot on x1 uh -huh. and i just got to the point where i i beat um Genichiro, the guy who cuts off your arm at the beginning. Yep. Uh, and right before you fight him, there is this... Like, right be like literally right before you fight him, there's a, a, a mini-boss who is this fucking, like, what's it called? Iajutsu? Uh, the, the draw stance? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he's, uh, like, a master of that. Uh -huh. And if you don't know how to deflect correctly when you fight him, he will kill you in one hit. Uh-huh. And he's there as, like, a, a testing the waters because well, the Genichiro fight... The Genichiro fight is incredibly focused on deflecting. Uh -huh. So it wants to make sure that you're able to get the concept of deflecting down enough by putting that guy there. Like, you can't fight Genichiro without fighting that guy. Yeah. And it's, it's, a, cool, it's, it's a cool little bit of design, <clears throat> I think. Yeah, and, like, people have been proffering a whole lot of, like, interesting ways to make Sekiro still work as this difficult version of a game. Like, what if just, like, infinite... Re what if, like, there was a mode that you could turn on where it was just infinite resurrections? There you go. So, like, even if you're bad, you could just, like, chip away at fools. Yeah. And, like, that would... The game is still there. Yeah. Like, it's basically just, like, a Game Genie code, and, like, nobody ever said that using a Game Genie was cheating. Right. It's just, like, a, a way for you to have fun in the way that you want to have fun with the game, and you're still playing the game. Yeah, I don't... I don't think that gatekeeping is a way to... I don't I don't think gatekeeping is good for anything, really. No. I mean, with, with something like video games, especially, it's like, they're just fucking made to have fun. Yeah, we are, like... One bad comic book movie away from being shunned again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Those nerds are riding high off of a very brief bump. <laughs> You're not wrong. You are, you are not wrong. If Game of Thrones is bad, they'll turn on us immediately. <laughs> and we will not see it coming, because we'll mark out for anything, apparently. Oh, yeah. Ugh. <sighs> <laughs> oh shit. Uh-huh. I digress. <laughs> Does this guy not have a cool treasure chest? I don't think uh, so. Oh no, what are we doing here? Uh, yeah, we, we didn't actually need to kill we this guy. We didn't need to kill this guy. Hold on, I need to go uh, mulch go. some shit. Mulch as well. 
And I got a repair. Mm -hmm. I died a lot earlier. Um, <sighs> I kind of want to drink something. What time is it? Oh, 8.43. 8.43. Mm. Yeah. Should I drink something? I don't know. There's only two days left in the week. There are, and I did my hard thing for this week already. I did too. Nice. So. Also, I have beer in there that isn't like my normal fucking 10.8% Imperial Stout bullshit. I've, uh, I picked up some nice sours. Ooh, really? Yeah, it's the uh, Lucy Session Sour from Indeed. Ooh. It's like very like lemon droppy. Oh, that's right. I wanted to try that. Yeah, yeah. Show the showing. Let's fucking do it. Okay, I'm going to put my controller down and take my microphone off momentarily and oh turn God. the lights on. A. Yeah, yeah. What the fuck, Google? I think it's because that switch is off and it's not like providing the ability for the lights to be powered. Oh, Birdie, you really shouldn't. Oh, oh. Birdie. Oh, there you go, sweetie. There you go. Oh, Birdie. Do you hear that, audience? That's Birdie. <laughs> That's why we call it Birdie, is because she chirp. Birdie chirp? 